Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Um, yeah, back to voiceover again. <laughs> My cough's getting a little out of control, so uh, it just gives me the opportunity to stop and start <laughs> when I need to. Um, I fancy doing something mindless and simple. Um, so I pulled out all these old um, children's books. Um, I have a lot of these children's books with illustrations on the pages. So um, I went through and looked for pages that had illustrations towards the top of the page. Because um, I thought, well, I might just make some envelopes. And then I thought I might make some envelope pockets. Um, for journals so yeah I have um, pulled out a huge bunch of these um, picture or well, illustrated pages and uh, I'm just folding over the very top just to give the uh, inside of the envelope a little bit of structure um, rather than just a single page now once it's all folded um, you can see the basic envelope shape I'm making there it'll just be a you know, rectangular envelope um, once they're all folded I'll take them to the sewing machine and sew across that top portion that I folded over um, slightly off camera there as I do every single time <laughs> so anyway I'll um, I'll let you watch this and then I will come back and explain what I'm doing as I go <laughs> okay Enjoy. Okay guys, this is um, the product after the, uh, the trip to the sewing machine. Uh, as you can see, I sew them all in a long big string. Um, I don't bother to cut the threads between them. So I end up with this absolute mess that I have to um, cut into portions and uh, refold to make into envelopes. So I will get on with that and I'll be back in the next step.
Okay, we've got them all folded up. Now I decided I would split them into, I guess, themes, if you like, <laughs> stories. Um, just so that they had some continuity when you were unfolding them, you would see the pictures were all sort of similar. So um, some of them end up in piles of, you know, this is a bunch of odd ones that I didn't really have anything to go with. Um, but most of them sort of get into piles or three or four envelopes that are similar. Um, and like I say, I did do some um, three envelope pockets. I also did some four envelope pockets. The process is exactly the same. You just stick on an extra envelope. So once we've got them all um, sort of sorted into piles and I'm happy with the the theme of them, I will begin to glue them together into bunches and um, yeah, you'll see that come up shortly. Okay, as you can see here, I'm just putting a little bit of glue stick. Um, I don't need this to hold forever. Um, it's basically just there to keep it together so I can sew it. Um, I'll place a bit of glue stick along the bottom 
back portion of the envelope and then stick the top front portion of the envelope below on that glue. Um, yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. It's a bit hard to explain, but I'm pretty sure it's easy to see, easy enough to see. So basically I'm just gluing them together like this in a great big long sort of envelope string. Um, once they're all glued, I will take them all off to the sewing machine and I will sew from the very bottom of the last envelope all the way up the side, across the top of the top envelope and then all the way back down to the other side of the bottom envelope. So they will all be well secured together with both glue and sewing. So, yeah. That's the last one of those. I made that nice and quick. <laughs> and uh, off to the sewing machine. Right, we're all sewn together. Now I'm just going to fold them up. Um, I literally just sort of fold them over and over and then fold the top envelope flap over the whole lot. And there we go, we have a little envelope pocket waterfall business. Um, there's tons of way to, ways to make this, all these um, out of old book pages and whatnot. I just I wanted to use up some of these these picture book illustrations um, and yeah I was just feeling like doing something you know by rote <laughs> I guess <laughs> over and over again just get something done enjoy the process um, and not have to think about it too much so now I have all these in my stash and as you can see, they're sort of themed. I mean, there's some Anne of Green Gables there. There's um, there was the story of Aladdin. Um, there's some um, Greek mythology sort of themed ones. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, so there was a bunch. So they're um, they're already sitting there now. Uh, for me to decorate up and ink and whatnot and including journals so there you go <laughs> i hope that hasn't been too dull and boring for you guys um i know i've done these before but uh they're always a handy thing to have in your stash and um yeah use up plenty of old book pages so oh, i thought i would uh, just show you a couple of options to keep them closed um, if you glue them down you can glue a piece of um, ribbon behind them or lace or whatever to help tie them down um, or if you want to just pop them in a pocket at least they're secured that way um, this was a piece of um, a reproduction newspaper um, that I just had lying in my scrap bin behind me I thought I'll just make a quick strap for um, the envelope as opposed to tying something around it. Um, this sort of thing would probably be best if you were going to tuck it into a pocket. Or you could secure the, um, the band to a page and just slide the envelope in and out as you wished if you wanted to. So just another way to secure it and make it a bit interesting to look at so I just made that a little thicker by folding it and gluing it and uh, made it slightly bigger than the envelope so that I can fit some bits and bobs in the envelope and still have it close still have it fit over the, uh, the envelope and I'll use something a bit more permanent as far as glue is concerned 
to just uh, glue that around the envelope. Again, leaving enough space that I can slide it on and off. So there you go, that's one of the four pocket envelopes as well. So, the four envelope pockets, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it wasn't too dull. Um, yeah, go make some, you can use up a ton of book pages, I mean, each one of these used up three or four book pages, so, it, uh, and look at them, they're quite interesting. So, okay guys, thanks for coming along. It's been a pleasure having you here as always. Um, I'll see you again next time. Bye.